Bum 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 Star Spangled Banner! Yes, red, white, and booty. There is talk of Eurovision America. Can I just applaud to that? Hallelujah! Spreading the love. Should we talk about it? Let's do this! Now, Dad Bond, Jan Olasand has revealed in an interview that there are talks with producers in America to expand the Eurovision brand to America, and by that I mean the United States of America. For I must the say, States. though, I mean, even though it's just the US, there's quite a wide range of states to choose from. Oh, there are 50, plus yeah. the District of Columbia, Taylor Swift, Pennsylvania. I, you know what? Puerto Rico. You, oh. you, that comes in too, yeah, right? Yeah, US territory. Alaska comes in as well. Kesha, California. Atlanta, Georgia, Def Jam Records. You've done your homework. Yeah, the home of rap and R&B is in the dirty south. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, the scope for this would be amazing. I don't think those top flight stars would participate. Says who? Americans are Honey. competitive. Yeah, but they have other things to do, like perform at the Oscars and the Grammys. I think that you would get an upswell of local talent, which is fantastic. America has 300 million people. There's a lot of talent Spread to go across from. all those states, yeah. starting with Alaska, Alabama. Can you can you spin that out? What the 50 states? Yeah, I can name the 50 states. Okay. Can Alaska, I right now? Alabama. No, Alabama's first. It goes Arkansas, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada. Stop. New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming! Wyoming. Yes, 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 America. Now look, we're saying America, a lot of people get offended when you say America to refer to the U.S. because obviously the Americas consists of Argentina, Brazil, etc. But like, there's America's Got Talent for an American audience. American Idol for, for an American, American audience. audience. So calling it Eurovision America, America Vision, whatever, it's targeting that audience, so I can already read the comments. Which is fine. I totally accept that. I'm I don't accept it because I think brand extension has to start from somewhere. It's gone yeah. to Asia now. It could go to America, and if it does go to America, of course it's going to go to Latin America. It's going to become global. On this front, do you, some people have said in the comments that this hurts the original Eurovision by diluting the brand. What is your opinion? You know what? 2017 for me is all about celebrating diversity, and I haven't switched on to another um, sort of motto or theme. or And for me, that's a very imp important point, you know? We come from different countries originally, yeah. you know, and we are celebrating the beauty of Eurovision. Mm. Now, why can't Americans tap into that? You know the yeah. other thing as well? Americans quite often look on Eurovision like, like some sort of a freak show, correct me yeah. if I'm wrong. Ew, that's like so gross. If it becomes part of them, they're not going to hate on themselves. Yeah. It'll strengthen the brand. Yeah, and also, I don't think it hurts Eurovision in Europe. How? How? Does it doesn't hurt How? It? You know? Of course it doesn't. It no. just doesn't. It really doesn't. And also, Devin, we have to talk about will this actually work? Because the thing is, in Europe, identity of your country, you know, your national identity means a lot. In America, to some extent, yes, but people, people aren't as rabid about being from Illinois as opposed to being from Ohio. I think they can be if that platform exists for it. You know, driving licenses are very state specific, aren't they? Yeah, but it's not like, oh, I got a California license, what? Oh, no, but also, you know, crime, people do cross over um, state lines to commit crime. <laughs> different penalties. You different penalties. <laughs> and, and you pay taxes. You know, and when, you know, the um, LGBT laws weren't harmonized, That's you true. know, it kind of mattered where you lived and stuff. So if there's a reason for mm. you to come from Delaware and not from Dakota... Well, usually you were just born in these places and you have little say in the matter. Yes, I appreciate that there are cultural differences and that certain areas of the country now... But you can move. Country, you can move. You People can are mobile. Move. Whereas in Europe, it, it, it can be more difficult if you're not from an EU nation. There are other bears. In any case, we got, look at Miss America. I guess it does matter because you always support your, your state. I'm like, Miss Georgia, what? Guys! Exactly. Exactly. And you know what? Bring on 
Eurovision USA. It's gonna sound really odd actually calling it Euro. Yeah, I wish they would just get rid of the, the Euro bit. Yeah, I, I, it might go back to the Grand Prix, Melody Grand Prix, because then yeah. that's universal. It could be yeah. American Melody Grand Prix. It could be something really cheesy, the United States of Song. You know? Yeah! <laughs> I like but that. I really want the American producers or whoever does do this to own it and not be like Eurovision. Like, do your thing. Do you know what I mean? Own your like American Idol gets what J Lo, Keith Urban. It gets the top flight stars. Um, and I think if they and can, Americans are more democratic, they're not gonna buy this. You know, five men or so-called music experts oh, kind of awarding yeah, yeah, yeah. fifty percent of the score. Yeah. And the EBU have to clean up and perhaps be more transparent as well as the brand shifts along. Yes. So final thoughts, are you excited about a potential Eurovision America? So it's excited. I'm ready to cast my vote. Actually, right now, I'd like to vote for Alaska. Oh my goodness, I'm voting Georgia, Alabama, or Mississippi. Um, but I have to say, I don't think this program is coming anytime soon. Like Yana Lissand even says, he said back in 2016 they were talking about this, it's gonna take a long time. You know, apparently NBC had the rights ages ago, nothing ever came to fruition. Honey. You never know. You never know. But what I do know is that we we blogs will be the first to break the news <laughs> when that news happens. We're so we're gonna need to save some money because we're gonna have to go to Eurovision Asia, we're gonna have to go to Eurovision, we're gonna go to Junior Eurovision, and we're gonna go to Eurovision America. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh. I'm not complaining. Alright, we will see you later. <laughs> Bye!